cannot not talk about the battle of the storytellers. Um, on right. my Instagram, when I said I was having you on the show, ask him about uh, Neo, ask him about the battle. <laughs> I think every, almost everybody saw that battle. And I also think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think that more people were even introduced to you as a songwriter through that battle. Absolutely, a hundred percent. I, you know, my my following on social media was like here, and then after the battle, it was you know way up here. You know, uh, we started trending, uh, you know, worldwide, and 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 that was fun. And so yeah, more people got to know me, and they knew the songs. Um, yeah. and, and I think they just got a chance to attach a a face and a name with some of the songs that they uh, that they've appreciated over the years. Okay, so now, I, since we have you here, I want to ask you, I'm putting you on the spot again, uh, the, the, the song, the clips, that, the clip of the battle that has been going around. I want to ask you which song beats which song. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so uh, Mary J's Can't Be Without You versus uh, Mario's Let Me Love You. Who wins that? Uh, man. That's kind of hard to pick. Like, so you put me on the spot, but I, you know, because, you know, Mario, that record, Let Me Love You, said all kind of like radio airplay records. And Man, that record. Uh, you know, but then, like I said, and it, and as you said, it's, it's subjective, right? You know, Billboard name be without you the greatest R&B song of all time, but, you know, it's, it's based on charts, it's based on, you know, so it's kind of all subjective. So it's just, I think, Whatever you want to hear at, at that particular moment, it's like that—that's the song that that wins out. You so know, you, so you're gonna were, punk out on me, huh? You're gonna punk out on me, Sinatra. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, it's uh, it's 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 hard to pick, man, because you know, because I honestly saw people like, you know, oh no, no way, no way, let me love you beats be without you, and then some people were like, nah, man, let me love you. I love Mary, but let me love you was my jam. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, yeah. you know, I'm 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 picking that one, you know. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to pick. I mean, if you ask me, you know, yeah, I'm going to pick my song. Okay. I'm, I'm sure Neil would, would pick his song. Pick his song. Now, yeah. I, as much as I love both of those hits, I, I can't even pick John Tay. As, as we said at the end of the night, the real, the real winners were the people who love R&B. Like, it, it, was no, it was no losers in the battle. It was no, the, the winners were the people it was who so like, got it. Yeah, to hear all that music, like. But I still have to. I I have to throw another one at you, then. Okay. Mariah's "We Belong Together" and Beyonce's "To the Left." <laughs> you know, it, come on, come on. Again, it's you know Beyonce is Beyonce, man. It's you. You can't argue with you know Beyonce, right? And then and "We Belong Together" is song of the decade. You know, again, it's. <laughs> It's you know, it's how do how do you pick, man? Both you know, both songs are huge. Both songs are performed by legends. Uh, you know, so it's 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 hard to pick. How the battle? How the battle of the storytellers start? Who 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 created? Who came up with the concept? So it really started on the you know with Swiss Beats and Timbaland with their versus platform. That's that's they're 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 responsible for all of this coming together, you know, and we they started their battle and then um the night before ours, you know, I was watching the Sean Garrett and Neo, um Sean, Sean Garrett and the Dream battle. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so I called my man Tyrone, uh Tyrone Davis and I said, Man, what do you think about me challenging Neo? And he said, Okay, let's let's handle it behind the scenes first. Let me reach out to his people. And then maybe like an hour and a half later, he hit me back and was like, they're going to call you Neo's M. You know, he's going to do it. And so Neo and I, you know, had kind of watched that battle. So we wanted to put, you know, some of our own rules and things in place. And we had begun to, you know, set it up. And then Swiss heard about it and was like, you know, listen, man, like, I love that y'all want to do this. Let Tim and I bring it into our platform, give it the curation give it the platform, give it the, the, the notoriety that it deserves. Um, because this is, you know, I want to, I want to do a songwriters battle like this. And, and I think it would be great. So he was like, okay, I'm Tim and I are in and we're, and we're gonna, you know, help put, put it out there on, on the platform. So it really started with Swiss and Tim just having this idea. And then when Neo and I spoke and then, you know, Swiss bringing us in, 
yeah, their platform. It, it was just so clever, and it continues because Timberland and Swiss are now doing a baby face Teddy Riley battle, which I cannot wait for this weekend. I don't know yeah. how Teddy Riley gonna, gonna be baby faced, but okay, we'll see. We'll see what he's gonna bring. Teddy got some jams, man. Teddy it's got it's, some it's, jams. it's hard to pick this one. I know. Listen, my my wife has a red dress. Uh -huh. That she is, brother. You know, Babyface said, "Ladies, get your red dress ready." She has a red dress ready. I well, may dress up and put a suit on to watch this. 